guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. This is gonna be my secondary review, second video, I guess you can call it, about uh, this exposed 8080 slash all these car giveaway deals. Um, I just want to get into the meat and potatoes of it. This video was was called Exposed 8080. You got the Dream, you got Omaze, Resto Mods, Speed Concepts, so that's SPD Concepts, diesel powered gear. You have all those all those companies. So I'm gonna do the same the same uh, title uh, but part two. So anyway Basically what it boils down to is it says there that there's no purchase necessary, which is true. You could send in a 3x5 uh, card and you know it has to be filled out exactly. You have to give a reason why um, why you want to enter, why you want to win the car, and you could submit a hundred of those. Um, they have to be individual. Um, and I think, if I remember right, they have to be received on different days. It can't all be, you can't just send a stack of 50 in and they receive them all. I think there's some rule and stipulation about, it has to be one a day. It can't be like postmarked all on the same day. It has to be postmarked on different days. But anyway, so um, my, my beef with the video, because it's always too long and I'll get to the point, is says on there no no purchase necessary which is true send in your card you get you get an entry but it also states in the rules that purchasing products will not increase your odds or your chances of winning which is confusing because when they sell shirts now I bought a bunch of t-shirts from 8080 good shirts not not knocking them on the shirts however when I purchased them online, I made a purchase of that, something else. It ended up coming up to 180 entries because it was, I think it was 90 bucks for the shirt and something else. So it's 90 bucks for three shirts and something else. Nice shirts, whatever else I bought, I don't remember. Anyway, so it ended up being 180 entries. So I'm a little confused on how purchasing product does not increase your chances of winning um, and if you go to smoking tire I just watched a video this morning or maybe it was yesterday smoking tire they're doing an omaze giveaway so there's a giveaway of an omaze of a Supra I believe and he even acknowledges because um, he says that it all, it all goes to charity um, the money that you donate or the entries you buy goes to charity and then he goes and says, read the fine print. So anyway, he knows that the money's not going to charity. Um, some of it might, most of it isn't, um, because they have to put, they have to pay for the car. I get it. Now, I ain't got a problem with any of it. I just was reading the fine print. That's the whole purpose of this video and the last video was basically saying, how are they going to say that you get an entry per five dollars or an entry per dollar and or two entries per dollar and then at the same time legally state that purchasing product will not increase your chances of winning so it's better if you do the no purchase necessary if you send in your 3x5 card if you want to enter um, just send those in because I think that's going to increase your odds better but it also states, and I don't remember the rule exactly, but it also states that basically if, if you buy something and it has 150 entries, you're only getting one entry. Um, if you do the no purchase necessary, you'll have multiple entries because they'll enter your name multiple times in the entry in the drawing. So let's say you're one out of five. You got one out of five chances of getting something and say there's only five people that entered and you submit two cards 
that means you got two out of five chances of winning. If you send three, you got three out of five chances of winning. And four, obviously, four out of five chances. And if you enter all five times, you're just guaranteed winner. So anyways, they, they commented on my video stating, that's not how it works. You get one entry per person um, per drawing. So it's one entry. Um, so you can have a million entries. And if there's a million and one, you're only going to be one and one. If that makes sense. You're only going to be entered one time for your purchases. You're not going to be entered 160 times like I thought I was. Or maybe it was 180 times. So if you're going to purchase from these things and purchase products, just let it be known that your chances are really, really slim. That's the whole point of the video. That's the whole point of any video is... You know, it's slim. I enter into the drawings, you know, uh, Diesel Power, the Diesel Brothers. Cool sticker I bought. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was like a knife. A knife, a flashlight, a sticker, and an antenna thing. Because the antenna is right here. Um, but I don't use the antenna because these antennas suck. They don't work for, for nothing. Um, and then I also bought a... A little sign but anyway so that's gonna be end of the video just let it be known and that's all I'm saying is their rules state and their rules that no purchase will increase your odds or your chance of winning so if you got a thousand entries and there's a thousand and one people it's only two entries if that makes sense so if you bought a thousand entries bought a product for a thousand entries and there's only one other person that bought one little item or sent in the no purchase necessary card that means there's only two entries there's not a thousand and one there's only two entries anyway hopefully that makes sense all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching comment below let me know what you guys think and uh subscribe all right guys later